Kit there. For stuff that like was that. originally a case that a known friend of mine had, oh, you, you and she, you I, she had lost the key of it, and I broke into it for her. <laughs> so she said, "You can have it now." <laughs> and it does. That's my own chalice from the oh, underneath. Of course, that's what I use. No, that's us ready. Started. Started. Would, 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 you want a good wood, wood fire? Wood, wood is just is it just more the, the, the flame than the smoke? Just the smoke. Yeah. The smoke, get rid of them. A bit of grass up the top of it makes Yeah, more. that would be like the beekeepers. <laughs> Hello, welcome. location here is practically on the boundary of the two parishes that is the site of the rock itself for those that are interested this evening that is the actual spot where mass used to be celebrated in penal times to a time when priests were fellows like us and indeed some of yourselves let's put it this way it wasn't a sin to attend mass as a crime and it was a crime that was punishable by death at the time if you were caught in the act of saying mass or a priest was caught that was the end of him no more about it and then, as time went on, of course, Catholic emancipation and various other things happened. Uh, there was no longer the need to celebrate Mass in lonely, quiet spots like this. And that's the basic history of it. Uh, these little Mass rocks were in hidden places where the Mass could be celebrated quietly and hidden, where nobody would be seen. And they would have lookouts, and you can see even by the design of this place. Adrian tells me that this has been untouched. It has never, ever been changed. And you can see by the design, you were in a high place. You had lookouts around the place. Again, it was a valley. You couldn't be seen. And anyone, as soon as there was a warning, again, I would suspect there was some way of closing that thing down and running. Basically, that was the history of these little places. So we'll offer the Mass for the people of, of Kilmichael and if Laura parishes. And it was as well, we just remember our ancestors, those that kept the faith alive through very, very difficult times in that time, going back to when they worked and lived out in terrible, terrible conditions. And so we pray, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. 
through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask this Mary of a virgin, all the holy and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me and to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy in us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peace and rule, and that your church may rejoice and trouble in her devotion through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. You are newborn, and like babies you should be hungry for nothing but milk, the spiritual honesty which will help you to grow up to salvation, now that you have tasted the goodness of the Lord. He is the living stone, rejected by men but chosen by God, and precious to him. Set yourselves close to him, so that you too, the holy priesthood, that offers the spiritual sacrifices which Jesus Christ has made acceptable to God, may be living stones making a spiritual house. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a consecrated nation, a people set apart to sing the praises of God, who called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people at all, and now you are the people of God. Once you were outside the mercy, and now you have been given mercy. I urge you, my dear people, while you are visitors and pilgrims, to keep yourselves free from the selfish passions that attack the soul. Always behave honourably among pagans, so that they can see your good works for themselves, and, when the day of reckoning comes, give thanks to God for the things which now make them <coughs> denounce you as criminals. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory unto you, Lord. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples in a large crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting at the side of the road. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout and to say, Son of David, Jesus, have pity on me. And many of them scolded him and told him to keep quiet, but he only shouted all the louder, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him here. So they called the blind man. Courage, they said, get up. He is calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he jumped up and went to Jesus. Then Jesus spoke, What do you want me to do for you? Rabboni, the blind man, said to him, Master, let me see again. Jesus said to him, Go, your faith has saved you. And immediately his sight returned, and he followed him along the road. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Would you like to say the word? No, talk way, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> I see. See them, fellas, the younger crowd. I want that they'll grow up saying, well, I remember a priest one time said mass down there somewhere. If that was achieved by me and the two of us here tonight and by us as their older generation, job done. But this little corner is a sacred place, the same as a cemetery, the same as a, a Protestant church, a Catholic church, a, mo a mosque, whatever it is, these are sacred places. And if you go back through human history, and you can forget about all the horrible things that have happened. Go back and you look at this country of Ireland. There are stones standing all over the place. Somehow or other, our ancient ancestors concluded that there was something else controlling everything. And they prayed. And this is part of the roots of the history of that. We pray for our community and those of us gathered here this evening for Mass. For our friends, our families and those whom we love and care for, Lord, hear us. Lord, 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 Lord. We pray for the younger generation, the younger people that are here amongst us. We remember many of them that are preparing for exams at this time when they will be getting the junior and the leaving search very softly. We remember them and indeed many of them will be carrying and heading off across the world as well. So we remember them that they will travel safely. Lord, hear us. Lord, 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 Lord. For all the people, I suppose, who said Mass here and who came to Mass here, and all, I suppose, who kept our faith alive, we pray that they know that they may receive their eternal reward with God in heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. I suppose we bring to mind all the thoughts and prayers and intentions of our all hearts, and in this, this sacred place, the place where Mass has been offered and the place where praise has been given to God, we pray this evening and we ask that God will listen to what we have to ask and that He will grant us our intentions. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. And we make these prayers, as always, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.
of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of our world. Blessed are those who are now called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Uh, this um, this uh, location would be typical of the locations for mass rocks because they were set up in Ireland during the penal laws when it was forbidden to celebrate mass in churches. In fact, churches were, were uh, outlawed and priests were outlawed in, and there was a price on the head of some priests. And we, know for, we do get one bit of information that in 1714 there was a price on the head of a Father Dennis O'Leary, by coincidence, later on we had a parish priest by that name, a Father Dennis O'Leary, who was parish priest of Kilmichael. And I think it was five euro or five pounds at the time on his head. Um, there were mass rocks all over the area, and we know for certain that there was uh, one in Cullicliban in Healy's place, and uh, here in the Commons. And uh, is there some other one? Yeah, we have and Kilnador, of course, the, the other Kilnador. one in the locality. And we know 1700s. Um, they were in quiet locations because, of course, um, if you ever remember the poem on Shaw Ilar and Glana, it really explains what happened when somebody would be on the lookout, mass was celebrated, people came, and so the location was as private as it possibly could be. So I could imagine that this location would be absolutely ideal because it would be almost impossible for anybody to come and find them here. Same goes for Kilnador. It would have been a great lookout. Uh, later on then, as the penal laws were relaxed a bit, the um, people were allowed to build chapels rather than churches. And the um, penal church in uh, Kilnador would have been a very good example of that. And we know there was another one in Kuldurahi. In fact, in, in our own uh, farm in Kuldurahi, that's the second one that we know of. Then in 1791, churches began to be built. So the church in Johnstown probably dates to around 1791. We know for certain the one in Kuldari he does because there's a little plaque in Latin uh, inside in the sacristy. The, to the church in Thomes would have been a later construction, but there probably was something else in the locality there as well. So really, I suppose these, um, w not, not an awful lot would have been written about the mass rocks because they were in such secret locations and only known to locals. And very little would have been written down because by necessity, they would have to be very, very careful. So uh, we don't know what happened here. We don't know how many hundreds of people came here to Mass, but the chances are that there were quite a lot of people saying Mass during penal times when it was illegal really to be a Catholic or certainly to celebrate Mass, to attend Mass, or to be in any way educated as a Catholic. I had been here years ago, but I didn't realise it was so far in, but I can see why it would have been perfect for, for its purpose. Thanks, so. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Thanks very much, Is there somebody going to stay at home? My Ben said, like, um, most of the mess rocks were in the glens, and they had to be surrounded by mountains or whatever, so that the lookout would have a, a good stretch of view in front of him, so he could see if the red coats were coming, that he could see the horses coming. And actually, this poem just kind of refers to um, a group of people and the priest um, say, having said the mass in a lovely mass rock like this um, everybody is parting and everything has been uh, hidden away now and everything, nothing is, is to be seen but just as they're about to go they hear the noise, the, the thunder of the horse's hoofs coming. When that happened that um, a particular 
elderly gentleman in the crowd, he said to the priest, he said, I'm an old man, you're still a young man, he said, change clothing with me, he said. And the priest, of course, didn't want to do it because he knew what the outcome was going to be for this elderly man. But anyhow, they did change clothing. The priest made his escape and the elderly man was hung from a tree instead. So it's an Irish little poem, it's a beautiful poem. On Shaw Elar and Glanna. Be on Tacfran later, is Gacro Dainta. Be Pobble Dea Scapa. Nor a Colomer Glory tucked in our draw. On Shaw Elar and Glanna. King Glory Shoe Dick tucked in our draw. Shin Torn Costna Gottle. Shaw Kunks I Dory Adam and Ree. On Shaw Elar and Glanna. The Cass and Ten are bring all ye a soul a drawn tagger. Is Gorshe Cogger in the Clush. O a hershan, o a hershan, sha coin the courty darigan. Ni fed the let's say to her nish and sha elar and glanna. Tato so og a hershan, tan fein in erebeha. Den malak did the glumanish and sha elar and glanna. Did it up malak gun rob wheel a grinny hill and taggart, the still shed door a moor upon and sha elar and glanna. The governor sassnig green all ye is the mix air and saggart. The crook she'd bring a crown pay lord on shaw, a lord and glanna. Ak mari call and tenny rag, for a sick fear of talib. Big eshki a lar reeve, ik fari fall, is on shaw, a lord and glanna. So we leave it at that. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord that by the same sacrament which which you feed us in this present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all on this day, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of our Mass has ended this evening. Let us go in peace. Good evening, everybody. Good evening.